Hey everyone, this is Kavita, Data Solutions Architect with Search Discovery. In today's video, we're going to talk through how to select the right customer data platform. Let's first align on the definition of a customer data platform or a CDP. A CDP is software that integrates, harmonizes, and unifies your customer data, turning it into a strategic asset, thereby enabling you to create more compelling and relevant experiences for your customers. A CDP allows you to shift the perspective in multiple ways, from a channel or product specific view to a consumer centric contextual view, from siloed internal data to fused internal and external data, from learnings based on a single channel or demographic to cross channel behavior based learnings, and from siloed segmentation and audience targeting to cross channel segmentation and audience targeting. So how do you select the CDP to help you make that shift? There are a few steps. The first step is to define your goals and desired impact. We typically see business impact realized for a CDP in three areas, organizational enablement, consumer knowledge, and return on investment. So <clears throat> which ones are important to you? Is it centralized data access? Is it better data governance? Is it enhanced profiles and more and better insights into your customers? Or is it return on ad spend? List all the ones that apply. From there, dive a little bit deeper and define your use cases and requirements. Here are some common CDP use cases, but these are by no means an exhaustive list. Here is where you decide what is your list of use cases. Are you looking to create enhanced profiles that give you more insight into your customers so that you can create better targeted experiences? Are you looking to assess the potential of new ideas and strategies to measure the impact of personalization tactics? Are you looking to activate in real time across channel? Or are you looking to analyze your customer journeys? Are you looking to understand the performance of your campaigns, discover trends and overall make better data-driven decisions, or are you looking to ensure compliance with regulations? Whatever your use case is, list them all. <clears throat> Once they're listed, you wanna prioritize your use cases and requirements. This will allow you to build out your roadmap for your CDP implementation. With this in hand, the next step is to evaluate various platforms against your use cases and requirements, looking for fit which of the platforms can fulfill and meet your use cases and requirements. You may have multiple platforms answer yes to that question, and so jot them down. But we do recommend that you create a short list of no more than three platforms to move to the next step. The next step is to contact the vendors and request demonstrations for the platforms in your short list. This will allow you to see the platforms in action and also ask pointed questions to the vendors directly related to your business impact, goals, use cases, and requirements. With all of that information, you're able to select a platform and move forward with your CDP implementation. Just remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Don't expect to accomplish all of your goals in the very first implementation. Instead, build a roadmap with incremental phases. Also, Success with a CDP is a three-pronged effort, people, process, and the technology. Include all of your stakeholders across the organization from step one, and that's even in defining your goals, business impact, use cases, and selecting a CDP. All of the stakeholders should be involved. Understand that processes may have to be updated and new processes may have to be developed once the CDP is implemented. If you have any questions or would like assistance in selecting a CDP, please reach out to us at searchdiscovery.com. Thank you.